everybody in the whole of Uganda, even outside Uganda, our neighboring countries, they have always come to Kampala. And why do they come to Kampala? They are pull factors that bring them to the city. Now that the cities have been, dis I mean, Kampala has, you know, has had uh, other cities created, it eases the congestion of Kampala, and, and everybody must look at it as a big development. But the cities have their own, you know, standards, and these standards require financial resources. You cannot expect to have a, a, a city a, a, that, a, a, that has, a, you know, a, a 10 kilometers of roads. Mm. Definitely. These cities have been expanded. The extended areas need similar amenities, roads, very big roads, very big reservoirs of water, very, very, uh, you know, uh, reliable electricity. I believe uh, the, the budgets for the cities could possibly not be met uh, in the immediate because of the challenges we have had in the past, like any other sector that has, has suffered because of COVID-19. But uh, along the way, uh, there is no third way. There is no third way government must fund this city.